Hello and thank you for joining me in this video presentation of what's new in Lobbit Pro for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad version 3. Uh, version 3 is just released here in March 2012 and this video is going to give you an overview of some of the new features, functionality, etc. so you can enjoy uh, the new uh, capabilities of version 3. We're looking at an iPhone simulator and uh, which should give you the uh, same presentation you'll see on your iPhone. Um, and obviously a little uh, larger if you're using the iPad. And uh, the new iPad third generation is recently released and the version 3 uh, product is uh, completely compatible and has the high resolution uh, graphics for your iPad 3 uh, retina display. So you can enjoy that. Alright, looking at the main interface here, you're going to see uh, a new weather screen. Uh, the capability to check METAR and TAF on uh, airfields. We'll go over that. And uh, you're going to see a Facebook Connect. Logic Pro version 3 for your iPhone and iPad has social networking integration, both Facebook and Twitter. So we'll talk about that uh, momentarily. All right, let's uh, first take a look at the first major new feature, and that is in the settings area, uh, we have brand new time zone integration. Previously, you had in the settings flight log area, a use GMT option at the top. Uh, with that on, enabled or on, uh, your out, takeoff, landing, and in fields uh, would be uh, entered and presented in UTC. With that in off, it would be presented in the local time zone where you exist. Uh, such as uh, if you're in California, your iPhone um, is going to be uh, automatically change to the time zone where where you reside. Um, so if you go flying across to the East Coast, your time zone is going to change. So that local time uh, is going to change based on where you are. So we totally revised the time zone integration within the application. And let me preface this that the time zone integration only affects out, takeoff, landing, and in fields. Um, in the airline industry, they would call them OOI fields, O-O-O-I, out, off, on, in. Uh, but general aviation, you might be using your takeoff and landing fields. Um, if so, then this section applies to you. Um, if you do not log takeoff and landing times or out and in times, then the times integration has no effect. The time zone, so the main setting screen is where you're going to find the time zone integration now. So let's tap time zone and you'll see that we now have three options for time zone integration. What we call device local and the reason we term it device local is because it's the local time zone uh, that the device is using. All right, so like I mentioned earlier you could be in California, you can be in Europe, you can be in the East Coast, uh, Central Time, wherever your device is that is the local time it's going to use. Now you can also uh, change to UTC uh, so no matter where you are the uh, times input and viewed for those four fields out, takeoff, landing, and in are going to be hardwired to UTC. Now the database, the data storage for the app everything is stored at UTC so we're simply converting our stored data to either your local time or a custom time zone, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so uh, with UTC, you're going to see your actual raw data as UTC. Now, the new feature here in version three is we give the ability to set a custom time zone. Uh, in the airline industry, sometimes this is called a domicile uh, time zone. So you can actually put the app, hardwire the app into any time zone you want. So if you want to do that, you know, if you don't want to use device local or UTC and you want to think in one set time zone all the time, tap custom. You're going to see a little wait, uh, please wait message appear while the time zones are populated. And then you can see how um, Apple's iOS breaks down time zones by these major regions. Uh, so we've got America, you know, Atlantic, Australia, Europe, Pacific. So I'm going to go ahead and tap America, and now you can see the breakdown of the time zones, how iOS actually presents time zones to you, um, and we also put in the UTC to help you determine what's best. So pick the major city that's nearest you, since we're on the East Coast, uh, New York is the time zone, 
So let's continue to scroll on up, and there you can see New York. So that's the Eastern time. And this UTC value also takes into account daylight savings time. So this is March. It's UTC minus 4. If I was looking at this screen in December, it would show UTC minus 5. So the application is aware of daylight savings time based on the current date and time. Um, and this should be the same time zone. You know, if you want to hardwire to your domicile time zone or where, where you normally live, um, you'll also see that you're, if you go into the uh, devices settings and date and time area, you're going to see that it's also going to show uh, New York uh, for my case here. So we can put the application into a custom time zone. Well, let's go ahead and make a flight entry, and we're going to look at how this uh, affects us. So let's go ahead and add a new flight. And we'll just pick our mighty Cessna 172 uh, just for an example. And we'll just put an aircraft of 1, 2, 3, 4. Tap next. And we're at RIC. Space, space. And that automatically puts in our hyphen, as you can see in the background. And we just, we did that. All right, so we've got uh, one leg for the flight. Wow, we did a landing. All right, now you can see that the time zone is recognized. Now, like I said, in December, that would be EDT. Since we're in daylight savings time, it's EST. And then we give you a visual so you can see that local is UTC minus 4. So if I take local time and add 4 hours to it, that's going to give me UTC. So let's go ahead and enter a takeoff time of 11 o'clock. And then we'll come on down here and enter a landing time. Uh, so yeah, 2 hours. Well, let's go ahead and change that to a little longer flight. And you can change the date as you need. We'll auto calc the duration and uh, we'll tap save. All right, what we're, we can jump, we'll get to this later, but you can see that uh, the social network integration is uh, ready to demonstrate to you. Anyways, back to the flight. You see that we are in our custom time zone that I set of EST uh, local uh, 11 to 14. So let's go back to the settings area. time zone. Now if I had to change that to UTC, we're going to see that those times are automatically going to change for us. And you can see it already has in the display when it was 1100 to 1400. We're now in uh, UTC, which again is showing us lo local equals UTC minus 4, just for our reference. And now we're looking at the times in UTC. So you can change that time zone so your entry and display is in whatever time zone you want it to be. So pretty straightforward. Just uh, keep note, uh, take note that the use GMT is uh, no longer in settings flight log. Now you have an app time zone, as we call it, and you have three options: device local, UTC, or any time zone you desire around the world. In addition, in the synchronization area. We also have a the same feature so that you can actually send data back to Logbook Pro PC Edition in whatever time zone you want. We do suggest using UTC, so that is the default, but you can actually be logging in UTC and send it back to device local or send it back to your domicile time zone. So you have the capability to set a time zone that you're actually viewing and entering on the app, and then you have complete control during synchronization of what time zone you want the data to show in in Lobbit Pro PC edition. So those are the two uh, areas where the time zone functionality has completely changed. Now as you saw when I posted that flight, now in version 3 you have the ability for those of you that use Facebook or Twitter you can share your flight log entry uh, on Facebook. So whenever you add a new flight We'll go ahead and do this again. Actually, even an edit is going to give us the option. Let's tap Save, and you can see what's going to go on to Facebook, and you have the ability to edit this message any way you want. And it just says, I logged a flight with a route of RIC to RIC in a Cessna 172 aircraft um, with a flight time of three hours. And then you can post it, or you can tap Cancel. So if we post this, then it's going to go to your Facebook timeline, and it's going to have a link to Lobbit Pro. 
uh, website along with the message that you flew. Now, the reason I say that there's a link attached, because those of you that are part of our affiliate program or want to become a member of our affiliate program, that link will change and be uh, tagged with your affiliate ID so that if any of your Facebook friends that are pilots click that link and go to the Lobbit Pro website and you have an affiliate ID entered, then uh, you will earn a commission on their sales. Uh, so any sales that they make within 30 days of them clicking your link on your Facebook timeline, you will earn a commission. So this social networking integration can actually be uh, beneficial to you, one, to obviously share your flights, but it also pre presents some affiliate uh, linkage, some activity to where any of your friends follow those links. You can actually get paid uh, for that. Now the same thing on Twitter. Uh, now Twitter is actually part of iOS 5, so if you go to your devices settings, not the application settings, but the devices settings, and configure your Twitter account, then uh, We'll go ahead and turn this off. Uh, once your account is configured, Lobbit Pro will be aware of that. Now let's go back in and let's pr like pretend like we're adding a new flight or we're editing it. Let's save. Now we have the option to tweet the flight. So again, you can edit this content, flight logged from so-and-so to so-and-so in the type of aircraft for three hours using Lobbit Pro. And you can see there's a link that's also embedded. It's uh, uh, short shortened URL so it doesn't take much space in your post but again that can be affiliate embedded if you have an affiliate ID entered then uh, that link if any of your Twitter followers follow that link you will benefit from that from any of their sales within 30 days of following that link now you can find more about our affiliate program at lobbypro.com forward slash affiliate you can join it's free for anybody to join and uh, uh, please take a look at that web page. We have some exciting news coming out about our affiliate program here soon. You'll uh, receive that if you subscribe to our newsletter. So that's the social networking uh, integration. Now you can also enable um, both uh, Twitter and Facebook. If you have them both enabled, we only allow you to post to one, not both simultaneously. If you have them both enabled, it will prompt you which one do you want to use for sharing this flight? And you can always cancel to opt out of sharing that information. And uh, if you don't want to post to uh, Facebook or Twitter, you can just turn them off as so. And um, now if you go to turn Facebook on and you have not connected or approved your app to speak with your Facebook timeline, you'll get prompted to connect Facebook as you can see here. Um, I've already connected this app. It's something you only have to do once. And, and uh, if you're not connected, you'll see log in. Just tap log in. And all you'll do is it'll go to your Facebook page on your, your uh, device. And uh, you'll just tap OK to grant it permissions to post to your timeline, which obviously you have full control over. Um, and if you ever want to disconnect it, you can uh, tap log out. But again, in the settings is where you can turn that off. Well, let's take a look at the uh, new feature for checking weather directly on your device. Um, this weather screen is just a handy area for you to get a quick uh, update on any airfields, TAF or METAR. So as you can see here in an example, you can just enter the ICAO. Um, some three-letter identifiers will work as well, but it's always best to use the full four-letter ICAO. Let's uh, tap in, just like it says, KRIC. And then you can uh, tap Get Weather to get weather on KRIC. But if you want to get multiple destinations, just separate them with a comma. Now you can see that the standard iPhone keyboard here, you don't have the comma available. So we've wired up a double space to change to a comma. So you go space, space. And you can see our comma's been entered. And let's check DFW. So let's go K D F W. And then I used to be stationed at Spangdalem, so let's, uh, in uh, Germany, so let's double space and go E T A D and see what the weather is over in Germany. Now tap Get Weather, and we'll go online. Internet connection is required. And here is your METAR and TAF for KRIC. Scroll the contents. Here's our METAR and TAF for KDFW. And then we've got. Spangdalem Air Base in Germany, which is ETAD, and 
There's the information. Now you can go on about, do whatever you need to do in the app. And anytime you can come back and your weather data is still going to be there for you. So you can pull new weather data or you can tap clear and, and uh, uh, clear the results. Now on the top right of the screen is a button that if it's enabled, it realizes you have pending flights for today. So airline pilots use a scheduling porter or if you're getting ready to go fly in your Cessna 172, etc., and you're going to preload your flight details for today in the Lobbit Pro app, uh, you can certainly tap pending flight. Let's go ahead and uh, change one of these to pending flight and show you how this works. So let's go to flight. Let's say we actually didn't fly this flight yet. Let's change this identifier to DFW. We're going to have a long flight in a Cessna today. So let's just change this to pending. We can leave the duration in. It doesn't matter. Pending just means we haven't flown it yet. Let's tap save. Now let's go back to the weather screen. And Logic Pro will do all the work for you and say, I realize you have some flights, pending flights today. Would you like to automatically load these uh, flights? So let's go ahead and tap the button. And you can see that it brought in our destinations for today's pending flights. And we can tap Get Weather, and it'll pull the weather for those. So for those of you airline pilots getting ready to go fly, Lubbock Pro will know you have pending flights today and offer to uh, import that information for you. The next new feature I want to show you in Lubbock Pro for iPhone and iPad version 3 is the brand new Schedule Importer. With the Schedule Importer for the airline pilots, you now have the capability to add trips directly from the device no longer do you need to go online at lobbitpro.com forward slash schedule uh, to work with the uh, web page from your device. It's certainly a better system if you have your Mac or PC available to you to uh, uh, import your trips. But now we have the capability to, <coughs> excuse me, to do it all directly from the schedule importer. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Before using the schedule importer, it's important to uh, set your schedule importer settings. Now you can go to settings, schedule importer, or directly from the schedule importer screen now, top right is the settings area. So you can just uh, go to the settings and we're going to set our default aircraft type. If your trip data does not contain the aircraft information, you need to fall back to a default aircraft type. You can uh, enter a default ident. Some people like to just put in a letter N or nothing. That way you can put in N, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The N is preloaded. And then you have the uh, schedule importer settings as you've seen before. There is one new feature in the schedule importer settings is the remarks template system. So if you want to uh, not use custom text fields uh, for some of the schedule importer information and you just want to put it all in remarks, you now have total control of what you want to display in your remarks. Maybe you want the trip number trip number in remarks, you want your flight number in remarks, you want your duty time, duty on, duty off, you now have the capability to order this. Uh, so let's see, we're a little off screen here, let's scroll down. So we can actually change this using these variables so we can go trip number, flight number, crew, uh, for example, and so we have total control of how the information here, uh, so you can see the variables, FNO, TNO, CRW, in there for crew, hotel, etc. And um, so you have control of how it's going to format. So anyways, tap save once you have your uh, schedule importer settings initialized, and uh, we'll leave the collation for those, some of you like to log by day. Um, so you can change by day versus by leg. Um, so let's go ahead and save out of this and show you how we're going to add trips. Now, to, we don't have any trips already stored in the cloud. Otherwise, we would see the number of trips, and then we'd have the capability of deleting trips, review the trips, or actually importing them into the device. So let's uh, tap the Add Trips button. Now what we're going to do is use the fast app switching in iOS 4 and later so we can switch between different apps. And you know, if you're using an iPad and you have gestures enabled, you can do things like a four-finger swipe uh, between apps 
and switch between apps real easily. So let's go to Safari, and here what you see is I've got a web, a web page, my schedule importer example, if you will. This is a PDF, and what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the text uh, in the PDF that I want to import. Tap Copy, then double tap. Let's go back to Logic Pro and paste in that information. Now, on the top here, you have the ability to specify whether your trip data is in UTC or local. So in this case, we're specifying that my trip data is in UTC. Now, if you need the custom time zone or domicile time zone option, you will need to do that online at lawofitpro.com forward slash schedule. So we do have an option. Uh, I believe some schedule formats, uh, such as Southwest, etc., actually post their schedules in the central time zone. So if that is the case, you can do that using the web-based schedule importer. Now, 99% of the time, auto is the filter you should use. All right, we do try to auto detect your schedule format and select a filter for you. However, uh, if auto does not work for you or you know you need a more specific filter, just tap filters on the top right, select your desired filter, and then it will use that filter for processing your trip data. In this example, we're just going to use auto. We've pasted in the trip data that we've uh, picked up via Safari uh, viewing our PDF of our trip data. So we tap paste and all we do is process trips and not show and subscribe. One moment while I check this. Let's try one more time here. All right. Sorry about that. I had to uh, my demo account here. I had to get it set up for the schedule importer. The schedule importer subscription is required to uh, use the device schedule importer. Uh, and you can learn more about that at lawbitpro.com forward slash SI, Sierra uh, India, SI, lawbitpro.com forward slash SI. All right, so once our trips have been imported, we do clear out the uh, trip data. You can paste in new data and tap process trips. Let's go back now, and you can see that the it immediately refreshes the information from the cloud. And it says you have two trips ready to import. Now we can rev you know, delete tr selectively a trip, or we can delete all trips. Uh, we don't want to do that. We're just going to select one and cancel out. Um, so you do have the option of canceling once you select out of that. The uh, other option we have here is the ability to review your trips from the cloud directly on the device. Now we have the former way that we presented trips to you in the summary. And then we have a new way of reviewing trips, which is what we call the trip grid. You can actually drill down uh, into here are your trips. We have two trips. Or you can go online to review or edit. So you can actually drill down, show your duty times, and here are the actual legs, and here's the leg data, whether it's a deadhead, etc. Um, and you also can copy, tap copy on the top right if you want to copy this, put it in your... Uh, put it in an email to somebody or your calendar if you're not using the calendar integration, whichever. Um, so you have the ability to add trips, delete trips, review your trips, and then just as before, just tap import trips when you're ready to go. Now this is actually a little faster than previously because previously in a schedule importer, you had to do get my trips and then import trips. Now it's just one step. Just tap import trips and you're done. And there's my 18 flights have been imported. If you have calendar integration, they're on your calendar. They're marked as pending. You can see here in red. So uh, you're all ready to go. Those are the major features, the major changes that are uh, in Love Pro uh, version 3. Some minor interface uh, updates throughout. The architecture um, has been uh, completely revised. Um, and the other great new uh, thing about version 3 is no longer do we have cloud sync device subscriptions. All of our customers that used or purchased a cloud sync device subscription, you have been automatically um, updated to the cloud sync for app subscriptions. You can use any of your devices. And we got a nice little message back here, so let's get rid of that on the Mac. So, like I said, uh, just said a moment ago, CloudSync device customers, you have been automatically upgraded to CloudSync for app subscription, formerly the Universal Sync. 
So any of your devices now, whether it's an iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, Kindle Fire, or Nook, you can now use any and all of those. So you have now been brought up to the Cloud Syncs for Apps subscription. All right, that is enough uh, for this overview um, of the version 3, what's new in version 3. As we talked about, we have social networking integration. We have the new time zone features. So you can uh, select the time zone both in uh, um, the uh, app time zone as well as the synchronization uh, time zone. We have the new weather screen. And we have a brand new schedule importer amongst many other uh, new capabilities and uh, improved functionality uh, within the app. If you have any questions, please visit us, visit us online at http colon forward slash forward slash helpdesk.nc-software.com or you can click the contact button on the right side of the toolbar on our home page and you can email us direct support at nc-software.com or sales at nc-software.com. And for those of you wanting to join our affiliate program and get commissions for your referrals and allow you to enter your affiliate ID, uh, you can visit us online at logbookpro.com forward slash affiliate. So visit us there, join our affiliate program, then when you post to Facebook or Twitter, anybody follows your links, you will earn a commission on their sales if they purchase within 30 days of visiting your link. Thank you for watching this video roll up. We hope you enjoy your app on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Have a great day.